Some of the best condo opportunities in Thailand can exist around old developments next to the sea. Fringing cities on large pieces of land that are now difficult to find in booming areas, they often can have unexpectedly huge oversized sprawling gardens and direct waterfront access. The purchase entry into an aged condo can be very reasonable, allowing more budget towards a total refurbishment. In this episode, we find a 30-year-old cluster development condo unit sitting just 10 kilometers north of Pattaya. It has been recently fully gutted and it's ready for a new life. These hidden gems are an investor's dream. So in this older building you can find a lot of very interesting places where you can build really the condo you want. So often you can buy the property cheaper than if you buy it from a new building and you can invest the money of redecorate it the way you really want it to have something totally unique to your taste and on a better location and for maybe even less money. So definitely good opportunity in the older building. The whole idea in a good design is to have a very good volume of space, not over furnish it, not overdo it, but you need to keep the function. So you will need a lot of storage for sure. So this is where you have to find a proper balance that thinks they look good. The main structure for the main condo building is in good condition. So therefore the project design is mainly about pulling out walls, redecoration and furniture. Buildings we never know in advance how is the main electric and the main water installed. So we have to dismantle parts of the of the walls so just to find out that we keep as much as possible from the from the existing installations. The electrics and plumbing, however, need a total refit. Building the installation is built not service friendly. So they, they just they just put pipes and wires in a in a, in a floor which we cannot easily change it or extend it, that's, that's the issue here. Quality control success of the reconditioned utilities quickly allows reconstruction to begin. The on-location team starts patching and painting. Just several kilometres away, the Euro Design factory is already busy cutting and assembling the entire bespoke condo internal fit out. It's exciting to see the original plan concept converted into reality. Quite minimalist and modern, with a, a exterior, outdoor sort of seaside uh, feeling. So the design, as you can see, those wall panels are all with veneer wood which we have very sturdy grain inside the wood and everything will be painted in white. So the entrance door over here. So we'll have the kitchen in the entrance, living room, guest bedroom with the ensuite bathroom, master bedroom, walk-in closet, ensuite bedroom. In the past, the condo's interior design was more closed and much darker. On the old concept, they have the typical kitchen on the corner, dining table, so far, so everything was really cluttered and not very spacious. So here we go to the approach, like to the much more modern and spacious. Euro Design has decided to open up the floor plan to allow more light, making the room very bright and cheerful. Utilizing its natural open living space and optimizing its seaside and garden views. So the idea is to really catch all the light and make it very spacious. The traditional kitchen is being replaced by a preparation island incorporating a dining table. So basically, the kitchen will be on the wall. That's going to be a full unit to maximize the storage space. And we'll have a long counter island, which is preparation and dining table at the same time. And that will give us a maximum space into the living room. The modern trend is to delete the small dining table to save precious floor space. So everything will be white color, but we will still see 
the wood grains inside the wood. So that's the overall feeling of all the furniture except the kitchen, which is a huge piece of furniture which will be in high gloss with a light champagne color. So as you can see, we need to really keep all the pieces of wood aligned to the shadow line that we're creating, matching with the furniture. So this is one of, this is actually the wardrobe and makeup table, TV cabinet for the guest bedroom. The original light colored floor tiles will become a contrasting wooden floor. So the concept is to use the floor a bit as a stage. So it's really like dark and it will show up all the white walls. And this, this furniture will be metallic painted, like champagne color metallic. So they will really go up onto the floor. So yeah, the idea of the dark floor is really to bring up the furniture and, and all the light around. The sitting area will face a huge wall mirror that will reflect the outside seaside views. So this part here, this is where the TV area will be. So we'll build the cabinet to be sitting into the, into the bedroom and in front of it we'll have big sliding doors with mirrors that will go from floor to ceiling. And this part here will actually be used to hide the TVs when you don't want to watch TV and especially to reflect the view that we have from over there. The wall redesign for the main bedroom has exponentially increased the storage areas for the bedroom and bathroom areas. After that we'll have a nice entrance door here. So we'll enter the bedroom from here. And when you're in the bedroom, we will build the cabinet to divide the bedroom to the bathroom. So in this piece it's extremely uh, customized for the very simple reason is that Right here in the middle, there will be a tempered glass door, which is attached to the wall in front of this furniture. So the measurements are really, really important because the door needs to be right in the middle at this point. So in this way, we will be able to have, when you enter here, you will have all your shirts and things, like an open closet, direct access to your bathroom, which in this way will also make the bathroom look much bigger than it is now, like twice the size. So this part will be part of the bathroom and this will be part of the bedroom. So as you can see also, uh, customized wise, we again have the same type of paneling with the same overall, uh, the same overall feeling with the lines, so on and so forth. And this becomes the headboard. So basically we have the wardrobe on one end. This part here is the headboard. So the bed will be coming from here. When you're sitting in your bed, laying in your bed and all, then you have directly see view again. So morning time when you wake up, that's it. Perfect see view, great time. So that's going to be good. Basically, the kitchen, as you can see, is located in this area. Once the assembly is completed, then we move to our test installation department. As you see, we have uh, temporary walls where we can screw, we can hook, we can do all we need to do to test install all of those cabinets as it should be in the client's uh, apartment or house. Now, this allows us, first of all, to make sure the QC, the quality is to par, that all the alignments of the doors, drawers, and so on and so forth is perfect. We do all the proper adjustments. We have a QC check at that point. Once this is okay with us, then we move to the following step, which is the packing of the cabinets moving the finished panels that needs to be finished in our painter's department, and then we move to the following step. With careful pre-planning, the on-location assembly phase moved quickly. When you redo a complete apartment, then I would say if you said from the day you pass through the door and then completion, you need to plan at least six months. There is it's difficult to do something shorter than that when you have to redo everything because there are certain work that just have to go one after the other. I mean, designing a project like this one, you spend one, two months very easily. I mean, it's normal, people have ideas, changing ideas, try different versions, so it takes a bit of time to make a final decision. And then when it comes to the work, well, there are certain steps, you just have to go one after the other. I mean, you have to do the demolition before, there's no way, you cannot do electricity before demolition, right? So as long as you don't finish your demolition, you cannot really start your electricity or your plumbing or all your MEs. So that's why you need always to respect the step, the step. You cannot be doing electricity and tiling the floor at the same time. So when you bear in mind all these steps, it's difficult to do something as a work time less than four months. So when you start to add the design part of it, all the planning, people should at least spend six months to do a condo properly. 
As on most projects, there were some unexpected challenges. Well, the air conditioning, the, the client realized that uh, the old system was probably not enough, so he wanted to add an additional unit. Because the compressor are stored outside of the building, and it's actually across the walkway, so all the pipes were going under the walkway, and that was quite of a challenge because we never faced that before. So we had to find ways to uh, sort of accommodate an additional compressor and getting all those pipings uh, done properly. And obviously these are things that happen through the construction, but it came a bit late <laughs> through our uh, status of where we were at the time. So it took a bit of a delay in order to not only order the unit, but to get everything piped in properly. And uh, that was a bit of an issue, but down the road, it, it, it worked out very good. In the end, the European expat client was over the moon. He, he never expected it to be better than the 3Ds, which were very well done and beautiful. But the feeling of just walking in, uh, I, I can remember him opening and closing every single door to see how the paneling and the doors were matching, uh, the quality of the, the, the workmanship that we had done, the high gloss finish, everything. He was really, really amazed. And he's a guy of that field. That's what he does in Europe. He buys, builds huge restaurants and resorts. So for him, it was really a, a, a very good feeling 